Hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another exciting episode of Hazen Takes on the World. And today we're jumping right back into the uh, Japan Crate review that uh, Karen and I were doing. So Japan Crate, and uh, we're going to head right over to the table here without any delay. Uh, if you guys don't know, uh, Kara got me a monthly subscription, a one month subscription to Japan Crate. It comes directly from Japan, and uh, it's full of little goodies like treats and snacks and uh, little collectible things. And uh, we've been we've been going through that. So this is episode two. If you want to see episode one, I'll put a link in the description below. Um, but stay tuned. Stick with us, guys. All right, guys. Hi, we're back, and today we are doing. We are going more deeper into. <laughs> Whatever I'm trying to say, back into the Japan crate that Kara got me, and um, as last time we had uh, a couple odds and ends things. We had the the weird mask with the gum. We had the tater tot chive things and the lemon chocolate pocky sticks. Uh, yeah. Um, so <sighs> we're just gonna jump right into something else here. These. Um, I'm excited for these because these are, they look like little rice balls, and, I'm sorry, Kara, um, I, I, I love rice balls, I think the concept of them is really cool, so, rice ball snack, let's just, <laughs> oh, these look interesting. I wish they're like, they're like rice cakes. Yeah. They look kind of like... Except, are they salty or sugary? They don't smell sugar. It's a small smell either. Okay, ready? Uh, Alright, they they look kind of like uh, wafer cookies, like butter cookies, but okay, let's go. Oh no. Oh. Tastes like popcorn balls. That's really strange. I don't know what the seasoning on them is. Yeah. It might, I think it's salt and sugar because it's really weird. I like these. I'm going to say that. Whatever the company this is, it's been around since 2002. Uh, peep that little rice ball character. He's fresh. <coughs> Yeah. What's 2012. This? You don't know what I said? <laughs> okay. Um, that's why she's here. Uh, Oni Jiri, that's all I can say on there. Okay, so we're moving on. <coughs> um... The only thing that's a, that makes sense on here is up down at the bottom. I have no idea what this is. This looks... This, I want it to be sweet, but it looks like a corn dog, and that's scary. Um, it looks... I can see where you're saying the corn dog. It, it looks kind of like... Like, just like a waffle cone to me. Like, that's kind of what I'm feeling. That's kind of what it looks like. It kind of like a waffle cone churro. That's what I'm hoping for. It's filled uh, with something. It's filled with something. Hopefully some... Awesome Asian magic. What if it's like a lady lock? I wouldn't be happy. Aww. <laughs> it would just be refrigerated. Truth. <coughs> okay. Break it now. It is one big dynamo. Uh, it is not filled with anything. It is filled with hotness. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Ooh. Feel this. The consistency is weird. It's kind of hard, but kind of soggy. Can I break Go it? ahead. Cheers. Oh, that's awesome. It tastes like those little, like cracker things. Vanilla, like the 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 waffle, like the the, the waffle cookies. I don't know what they're called. Yeah, the. Uh, Oh, no. They were on the tip of my tongue because that's what I was thinking too. But then I went back to Lady Lock in my head. 
Um, they come in like strawberry and chocolate. Yeah, the, 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 the yeah, the, like they have like orange ones. They're little, little wafery like. You keep describing that. I'll look it up. Yeah. So. It's really good because this one's really creamy. It has like a almost a buttery texture to the wafer, as you can see. Oh, they're just wafer cookies. <laughs> oh, well, there you go. <laughs> um, it has like a buttery texture, but it also has a very creamy vanilla, like milky texture to it. So I like that a lot. Um, yeah, we're gonna set those aside because. We have plenty more things here. <clears throat> this thing here. Uh, I want you to try this. Okay. We'll get to it. Oh, you want to do that now? I'm not going to try it. The tube of liquid. I'm, that's okay. it. I'm good. Um, this, this here tube of liquid. Um, very interesting. I'm not sure how I'm going to feel about this. <laughs> it's some sort of jelly. Why do you make me do these things? Well, you know, you can't have any. It smells like... It smells like blue raspberry. Oh, oh. It's, it's not liquid. It is pure gel. <laughs> Did you have to bite it off? Yeah. Mm. Once you get over the texture, it's not bad. <laughs> um, not much of a flavor. Kind of a blue raspberry flavor. But, um... Yeah, it's all, it's all in your head texture thing. The first taste isn't that great either. <laughs> but... All right, well, that's all for today, guys. Um, <clears throat> join us again uh, here in a second. I'll be right back to go over my final thoughts of these items. But, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll keep doing this box here until we get it empty. Hey, guys, I'm back. So, uh, Karen and I did, a, did our little taste test of everything there in the Japan crate, and I just want to give my final thoughts on it real quick. So, the first thing we had was the little uh, rice cake, uh, the rice ball cake things. I really like those. I think they were, they were really delicious. Uh, like Kara said, they kind of taste like rice cakes. Um, very good. Had a, had a little bit of a sweet, little bit of a salty taste to them. I could eat those all the time. Um, next up, we had the, uh, the little cone, like, lady luck. Not Lady Luck, a little cone like cream thing. Um, also very good. Uh, it was tasty. Kind of, kind of had like a waffle cone substance uh, texture to it. Uh, very sweet. I like that. Uh, it was kind of like a real, real crunchy donut. Like if you mixed a donut and a waffle cone together, I really liked it. Um, then lastly, I had the little tube of blue gel. Uh, <coughs> That was not very good. Um, but, you know what? It, it's basically pure sugar. Honestly, it was just... For, for me, it was texture and temperature and fear. Um, because, one, I didn't know what it was. Um, the texture wasn't bad because I thought it was more going to be like a syrup. And it was like gelatinous and you had to bite it. So it was definitely... It was just like jello, but it was warm and I don't like warm jello, uh, so it was, it was kind of gross for that. Um, but I think if it was cold and not in a tube, it wouldn't, it wouldn't be any different than just eating regular jello. Um, but yeah, that's all I have to say about that. Uh, big thanks to Kara for helping me do all these. Stick with us. We're going to keep doing this box until we uh, run out of it. And uh, yeah, so if uh, that's... Pretty much all I have to say about this. My name's Hazen. This has been Hazen Takes on the World. This is my take on uh, Japan Crate. And uh, run on over to japancrate.com and sign up for it if you're interested in it. Uh, like I said earlier, you can uh, watch the first episode of this um, by clicking the link in the description below. Uh, 
we're going to keep doing this, so I'll be posting more episodes of this. Um, but yeah, head on over to Facebook and follow me at Hayes and Takes on the World there. Um, yeah, we'll see you guys. Take care.